Now we have a look at Poland, hoping to make an impact in Group B. Polska, biało czerwoni. Polska, biało czerwoni. Polska, biało czerwoni. Polska, biało czerwoni. Polska. Today we will be in heaven. Poland will get qualification to the Euro 2008. During my lifetime I, I haven't uh, seen anything like this. We're gonna win and that's all. We are the best in the world. We win matches, that's the most important part. It's amazing, uh, not only uh, for the results, but uh, the way they, 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 they play sometimes their matches or part of their matches. It's amazing to see the level. We prove against Portugal and big teams like Russia or I don't know Finland. Uh, we, we played good and we won the games and uh, or we drew the games and uh, we're ready to, to play big football. Why not? Poland have qualified for the Euros at last, and much of their transformation is down to Dutch coach Leo Binhacker. He's had to overhaul the national team after taking over in the aftermath of Germany 2006. They had a very disappointing uh, uh, World Cup in 2006. Yeah, and then you start, of course, why? And what's the problem? Is there's no talent or is it the, 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 the management around the team or what is the reason? What I saw from the beginning that uh, they have so many, uh, many players that, uh, that have enough talent, at least enough talent, uh, to play with the, uh, against the, the better teams in Europe. But the big question was how to get the best out of this obvious potential. Bin Hacker brought with him years of experience and an attacking Dutch philosophy. But his impact was greater than even he could have expected. It was amazing uh, how, uh, how quick they picked it up. And, and every time we are together a few days, uh, you see them doing things better, better, better. His appointment was a masterstroke. Having coached Real Madrid, Ajax and the Netherlands, the Dutchman had seen it all before. First and foremost, though, he had to work on hearts and minds. He did a, a big mental change. The players are very enthusiastic. Everybody wants to play for the national team. Everybody is proud to be invited by Leo Benhagen. I think he gave us uh, a lot of mental strength. We are stronger. We are going on the pitch with the... With the mind very clear, focus on the winning game, even against the best team. You have experience, and uh, the experience when you have experience, you can know what what uh, you can give for the team. Ben Hacker's short reign at the top of Polish football has been so successful that he has already extended his contract until 2010. At the moment, he just can't put a foot wrong. The Federation prolonged the contract with him, so I think that the time he was working here, he proved that he is the right guy on the right place. Leo became a very popular man in Poland, and uh, uh, anywhere he goes to meet uh, school children, or to, or to open or to close the youth tournament, uh, he is laughed. No! We love him. We love, really, we really love him. It is the best manager in the world. Why? It has done the best job for us and uh, no one has done this before. Leo! No one. Leo! This, this is the best, the best. Leo! Leo! You are the greatest one. <laughs> in qualifying Group A, Poland put in a fantastic performance under Beanhacker. An early 2-1 win against group favourites, Portugal, showed the Poles really were a force to be reckoned with. 
I think the games against Portugal or the games against Belgium away, we showed that we are able to win with everybody. That Portugal win was followed by victory in Belgium. Ben Hacker's hard work had paid off. Belief had been restored to the national team and a first ever appearance at the Euros was a real possibility. I think that was also an important game for us and uh, we showed that we can play football. They realized at that moment, hey, we can do it. And that was a key moment in, uh, yeah, in the job, yes. Yet in such a tight group, it all came down to Poland's penultimate game, this time at home to Belgium in November 2007. Fans flocked to Katowice to cheer their side on to what would be an historic qualification. If we win tonight, uh, we're going to qualify for the first time in our history for the European Championship. We can make history today if you win. Bean Hacker's side were delivering and the fans were responding. And the fans were responding. Poles had got used to being let down by their national side. But here was a chance of Euro qualification and the fans wanted it desperately. We hope we will win today and this, is, this will be a, the best celebration yeah. of the year. I think uh, we can mm, describe to the in Rio de Janeiro. Not quite the Rio Carnival perhaps, but all the same Poland's faithful fans were geared up for the biggest party of their lives. And Ebi Smolarek got the celebrations underway in the first half pouncing just before half-time to give Poland a deserved lead. Smolarek really was the difference for Poland. This was his second and ninth of the campaign, sealing a 2-0 win and a momentous victory for Leo Benhaka's men. A result that sent the fans into ecstasy, and it's a party that's still in full swing. We are really happy, and uh, we did a big thing, you know. We, uh, over the years, uh, uh, Polish uh, players tried to go to Europe, never have got the success, and this time it was, uh, yeah, beautiful. Party time for the players too. I think we go sleep uh, in one hour. <laughs> Poland held on for top spot in Group A, ahead of much fancied Portugal. A result which has made the rest of Europe sit up and take notice. It will be a tougher task altogether though for the Poles in Austria and Switzerland. Critics point to their lack of individual talent. But then an absence of stars can have its advantages too. I think we're a collective. We don't have a stars and uh, we work every, everybody for each other. It's a team sport and that's the most important thing uh, to do it together. You cannot do it on your own. That's what, what uh, Leo Van Hackers uh, all the time says, that uh, he doesn't care so much about the, the players, about the stars. We have no star players, it's a team. It's a team and that way they are, they are fantastic. That team ethic runs deep in Bean Hackers, Poland. Every player working for one another. So much so that the Poles will be no pushovers for Germany, Croatia and Austria in Group B. It's for us as a team not easy to win matches, but it's, uh, it's very difficult to beat us. One man has still managed to stand out from the crowd. Fleetwood-hit Racing Santander forward Ebi Smolarek has been the main source of the goals which have fired Poland to qualification. Of course, we, we have to mention Ebi Smolarek, uh, he scored the most important goals. He is like a, like a joker, who is used in the very uh, difficult moments. This is a god in Poland, you know. This is a favorite player of fans in Poland. This is, this is a god for us, you know. Even with hero worship like that and the constant media attention that now surrounds him, Smolarek is strictly on board with Binhaka's message. No stars. For me, it's not uh, the most important thing to be top scorer in this team. Uh, for me, it's important to, uh, to win matches and uh, when, when I score and, uh, and we lose a match, I'm not happy. So uh, I'm a team player and uh, I will always be that. So uh, I, I want to, to win every match and it doesn't matter who scores. Poland has changed considerably in the last 20 years since the end of its communist rule. 
There are clear signs this country is on the up. In 2012, they'll co-host the European Championships alongside Ukraine. I think uh, it's, it's nice to, uh, to have such e uh, event uh, uh, in Poland. It's uh, nice for the people, like, nice for the fans. So I hope that it will be good. Euro 2012 fever has already gripped the nation. After their recent successes, it's great to be a Poland fan just now. And in four years' time, the football world can expect to sample some great hospitality. The level of, uh, of enthusiasm is, is great. And uh, I do hope that uh, many, many thousands or even million people come to UK and Poland to enjoy the games. With new facilities and a better infrastructure, Euro 2012 means a chance for Poland to make a real impression on the European stage. It's a big chance for us. It's changed Poland. We have stadiums, but of course not European level stadiums. We don't have sports center. And we will have it. And we stay for the future. So the, uh, it, means, it will mean a revolution for Polish football. Poland is far behind in relation with, uh, with Western Europe. And um, the good thing now is to organize 2012. They must start building stadiums. They must start building uh, training facilities and so on. So uh, in that way, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very important for this country to make within two, three years these steps. And I'm sure then, then Poland is one against one of the, one of the giants of European football for sure.